Hi, this is Anna Rouse reporting for Wink Ball from the I Lost My Heart to a Starship Trooper exhibition at the Griffith Gallery, where we're finding out about classical and contemporary art working in tandem. Um, the idea is about contemporary artists who appropriate imagery from art history um, and use it and adapt it either as a reference point um, or to make a comment about art history, but basically kind of rooting their practice in uh, the canon of art history. Uh, more of the work I make is based on other artists' work. So these artists, are, uh, the, these works rather, are based on two drawings by French 19th century um, oh God, I got that wrong, haven't I? He's an 18th century artist called Brewers. They're not related, uh, they're two separate drawings, but I brought them together and made them into mother and child. I'm trying to communicate that idea, this fraught, overly energetic emotion between the two of them. The work here is to do with uh, an event in 2015 um, where Dutch hooligans were having a riot and they damaged the Fontana della, uh, del Barcaccia, um, which is this fountain that I, I took photographs of a month after and made a digital sculpture. I, I'm kind of interested in how a, an object can emit time and uh, how you sense that and, and how that might have nothing to do with the original making of that thing, but it, but it still is now part of that history and, uh, and says something new to you. This is uh, using um, a painting by Hans Bollinger and then, and then altering it, or what I call it, glitching the photograph of a painting with an algorithm. So in a way, it's also talking about uh, a shift from uh, one era to the next era. I love this concept of appropriation and looking back at art history. It's so, so dear to my heart and I wanted to see these amazing, more established artists, you know, really take on the concept. But all artists in some way are referring to the history of art. The artists in this show are doing it more obviously. So it's almost like there's a lot of painting here that's trying really hard to be painting, but not be painting at the same time. So, clearly referencing classical art in modern art has its challenges and complexities, but it also lends itself to some incredibly beautiful work. This has been Anna Rose for Wink Ball.